Welcome, journey into nature, the outdoors. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can live off the grid for free, not having to pay any electricity. This is my off-grid solar array system. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour and you tell me what you think. And here we go. Right here we go. So walking from here to where the uh, solar stand or my solar array is located, it's approximately 100 feet. On my previous video, I actually showed how I built the stand and it cost me 280, all materials included. Uh, not including, of course, the solar panels. The sort of panels that you see there, um, I bought them from Santrex, I believe solar. it is, and it cost fifty dollars each, and it's total of six of them. So you're looking at three hundred, and with uh, shipping and delivery, it was a total of about six fifty. Here we go. So the way I hooked this up is I hooked it up in, I've hooked them up in series. I hooked this two panels in series, this two panels in series, and this two panels you see here in series. That makes three strings. Those three strings Are go into up this. in parallel here. So one of one of the strings comes in here it goes into here it has four connections but one is not being used i won't need it but if i need it it'll be available so it goes into here and then it goes into one so this here is my positive lead and then this one here is my negative lead which you'll see also using the same one in here to change it so it goes from three to one Three because I'm only using three even though that, that one's four so that uh, makes my uh, my 1500 watt array six panels um, 250 watts each and then uh, when you hooking them up in series when you hook both both two panels in series what happens is it adds up the, the open voltage open voltage on this one is uh, or open circuit voltage is 37.6 when you in series you add them up so you'll get 75.2 so you'll be you'll be sending 75.2 volts onto your uh, solar inverter remember you got to have at least uh, 24 volts going to your solar inverter to be able to charge those batteries you got to have more than 24 volts to be able to charge those batteries if not they won't charge and then the the maximum um voltage open voltage is 145 volts so please don't put more than that so here goes a little little bit more detail to how i did everything you can just see in series over there those two coming in two leads go into that and those two into that one and of course those two there from here all that just gets converted into two a positive and a negative and this positive and negatives are the same ones that are going to be inside uh, my tiny container home and it goes in straight into my inverter there's no breaker from here to there it goes straight into your inverter and there is where i have a uh, 30 30 amp um uh 30 amp breaker in here what i did i still need to add another little connector here so prevent water and animals from going in there but what i did here was all it is is a box where i have a i have a pro approximately 40 more feet of wire in there the reason why i did that because i noticed that um during the winter the sun moves around so i might have to move this solar array a little bit closer to the sun um or 
don't know just yet, but I left extra wire just in case I need to move anything. So from there, it comes here. I put that box in there, ran it in here, comes in here, all the way down. And so from here, I actually dug the, the pipes. The kandu is buried about um, barely six inches in the ground, not much. We have a lot of hogs here that uh, like to just dig, dig, and dig. So I wanted to make sure it was underground instead of just above ground to keep them away from the animals. So the distance from over there to here is 100 feet. So here we go. This is it. And this pretty lady right there, relaxing, that is my bee. And yes, that means my beautiful. Right, my bee? You can. All right, she's relaxing. So here's my batteries. I have two, um, two boxes. Each, each of these boxes that I bought at Tractor Supply were $100 each. And in here is where I have the, the battery system. Sixteen batteries, six volts each. I'm using four batteries. That's just a divider, so you can see. Four batteries to make one battery. So you're looking at one battery there, and that would be six volts each. That would be 24 volts. So you just use that positive there, and this negative here, and all negatives go connected here, and like and that positive all positive go connected in here so all my positive leads go there and all my negatives over here here's another battery okay here's my positive and here's my negative all negatives go connected here and all positives go connected here here I added a breaker it just breaks the power from the from the positive side and here's the other two batteries if you want a better explanation of, of how these batteries are connected you can look in my uh, previous video that's it now how did we have this connected before well before i was using a a Honda generator this one right here EU 2000 it actually works really good but the wife it didn't like the noise at night and and I can understand so we decided to go solar because of that reason she likes to have the AC so I need to have a lot of batteries and so I would connect the positive there I mean I will connect my extension right there to the positive turn it on and then this other lead will connect up there and that would supply um, power to the whole house. Very nice and easy. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting rid of this connection up there. It'll still be, there'll still be power. I can still power it this way if I need to, but if I don't need to, I won't have to use it. Right now, the way it's set up is the power that was coming from the um, solar array, the pipe goes right behind there. So you can see it in there, it comes out. It comes into this little junction box. So in this junction box, if you were to take this four screws, all you have in there is the wires coming in, in here, coming in, and then in on a hole that I got created in there. And same thing in here. This two wires here is a positive and negative from the battery. This one right here is my positive. You can kind of see the wire there sticking. Positive. And the one underneath, which would be this one here, It's my negative. Kind of see it there sticking out. Same thing. It just goes straight inside the house. Let me go show you how that looks inside. She just likes to relax.
once you come in here, I actually do have the AC running right now. I'm gonna close the door. you know this AC takes a thousand watts to run 1,000 watts so it takes a lot of power um, I also I'm also running this refrigerator right here so all right guys so the only thing that I have to uh, show you here right now the sun is not so hot, so bright, but um, as you can see right now, we're getting uh, 466 right now, it's, sun's coming out. Looks like it's 417 watts. Um, that's the wattage that's coming in. And we're, we are outputting 120 volts. That would be what uh, is accessible. You can kind of see that the battery is a little drained right there. It's not quite 100% full. This little thing right in here, that shows you that um, we're using about, I don't know, 40% uh, of battery, almost to 100. That's the capacity of the MPP solar, the most uh, wattage that it can handle. Right now, once again, the watts, you're looking at about 300 watts now. When the sun comes more, once it comes out, you will see it climb. Um, I usually see it climb up to 800, 800 around this time. Let me go ahead and go into the next one. So my battery right now is at 24.3. The load on it right now, like I was telling you, the load is 44%. Uh, And that load right there, that's how much electricity I'm consuming right now. It's 1,000, uh, 1,112. Uh, so 1,114 at the moment. And that surges up and down when the compressor and the AC has kicked on and also the compressor on the um, refrigerator. This is telling me right in here, that's where the solar panels, the power's coming in. And here, it's coming in as direct current, direct current, and then to when it coming out on this side is alternating current, which is already usable uh, for the utility. Go ahead and come down. Uh, 35 amps there. There, right here under AC input, that is how much electricity I'm using uh, from the grid to power up my, my batteries. And I don't have any, I am totally 100% um, solar, so I will not be using any of that. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more in detail. I can actually plug in a generator um, here if I wanted to power it that way. But I'll give you a little bit more information here in a minute the PV voltage is 49 volts that's the voltage that I was saying you need to have at least um, 24 volts for your solar array uh, to be able to charge your batteries because your battery my battery system is 24 volts meaning you have to have more than 24 volts here to be able to for your batteries to charge. And now I'm getting 980 watts, almost a thousand watts on my solar system. That is pretty good. Right now, like I said, the most I've seen it and I, it's right around a thousand, which is right around there. But um, it has gone as much as 11 or so. But it all depends on the time of day. But this is usually what we get. Um, what this does is allows me to run the AC and the refrigerator, and I usually don't have any problems. And if I can keep my battery charged up, I use it at nighttime as well. All right. 
Once again, the battery voltage, 24.1 now. I notice, even though they're saying my voltage is 24.2, when you turn it up, when you turn it off, it actually surges back up. So it goes up to like 25. So that's not quite 100% because it's actually charging and discharging. So it's kind of hard for you to read it very accurately. Every time I would turn it on, it would bring me um, to the, let's see, where is it at? It would bring me to this screen, that's the AC. And there is a, let me see. I went ahead and changed the only things that I changed on this uh, MPP solar inverter is just a couple of things one of the main things that I that it just bugged me that every time I would I would want to see the wattage coming in I wouldn't want it on this screen I would want it on this screen right over here this one so there's on when you go to your settings for your settings you push and hold this button right here for about five seconds gets there take it all the way to number 19 and I changed it it was push that once scroll down it was on this particular one here which that's your default default setting which tells you electricity your AC current coming in and I didn't want it to display that. I want it to display whatever the last screen is. So I keep it here, push enter once again, and you just back out of it on escape, and it's set. Basically, whatever screen that you have it now, it will stay on that screen. The first thing that I changed would be, let's see. would be setting one and I put it on solar and I put it on solar because I'm not going to be using nothing else but solar so that means it's, it's priority one it would be my solar um, solar array is going to be charging all right the next one that I went ahead and changed is going to be on number five oops push and hold number five on your manual and this one is flood batteries. I just went ahead and put it on flood. When it comes on default, it comes on the um, AGM. So you want flood batteries, here's where you go. To change it, you just put, push this button right in here. Let me show you. Like that, and then you just go up and down. And, and I want flood. Push enter. The next screen that I changed on this one was, let me see. Was number 16. And let's see, number 16. number 16 and here is solar energy will be the only charger charge source no matter utility is available or not utility will not be available on this one it's just strictly solar but if i do want to put so um utility i have the hookup for the generator which i'll show you in a minute the next one that i did i went ahead and did number 19 and that was the the takes you to the main screen so those are the only ones that I messed with uh, no need to do anything else when you get the solar um, 
the less you do to it, the better it is. It's actually plug and play. You don't need to do anything, just it's very simple. So let me go ahead and take this off. So here's my system, how it looks. Remember that, um, that wire that comes from the outside? Well, the wire that comes from the outside is going to my breaker box. This is my breaker box. So when, you, when I would plug in my generator from the outside, it would automatically, um, it would automatically give a power to the, the tiny home. And now I add an extra breaker at the bottom. So, and that gives it power, it ties into that power. So with that breaker, I'm able to turn on and off. If I were to turn off the breaker there, it would turn off the, the power to the, to the tiny container. That's a breakage, the brakes power. Um, so it's coming from right in there, all the way to the bottom, right in here. So this is usable AC power. So from here is going in there. This is AC in and no, I'm sorry. This is AC out uh, and this is AC in right here. This is your, your generator or your uh, utility from, from, your, from your house. So, and that wire goes here because I'm not gonna be using it. So I put it down here. You can kind of see it. It won't be used. In here, here's my 30 amp that goes uh, for my solar. Uh, my PV, here's where it breaks. You only need to break your positive. So positive, negative in there. Before you hook that up, just make sure that your batteries have been hooked up first. And that way, when you have your PV, you have uh, the electricity knows where to go already. Um, here I have a 100 amp. This 100 amp um, breaker is for the batteries. And of course, positive to negative right in there. If I need to take it off, I just take that off, take that off, and that just breaks off. And as far as my PV, my solar, I just unplug this to here, and that's it. And if I wanted to carry this whole thing out, I would just unplug in here, and I can take this whole box out. Because this thing right here is just sitting on here. See, it's just sitting. Um, in here on the back, I did put a piece of wood, but in front of the wood and in between the MPP solar, I have a piece of um, aluminum. That is to dissipate heat. And it's all the way around, you can't really see it, but that is it. This is where the connections go. You can't really see it in here, but the way I did it, you can see other videos of how people have done it but you can see AC in and AC out AC in which is the very first one once again that is coming from your generator or your um, or your uh, electricity from your house um, another thing I want to show you here I've used the same the ground from i use the same ground from your ac in that's where you see two green ones being connected right there because i used both um, the ground for the ac in for the ac out i use the same ground that's what i did there i hope this helps it's very easy don't be scared to try to do it yourself as far as this mpp solar it's very easy to hook up but as as you go start doing little things and little things um, you can definitely figure it out and some what from watching some YouTube videos as well and look before we go let me see where we at as far as
228 watts. It goes up and down, just right now there's some clouds on it, but when the clouds leave, it's about 800, 900, close to 1,000 watts. Remember, my solar array is 1,500 watts. That's what I'm getting out of it. Let's see what the wife is doing. Hello, my beautiful. Hi, tell, tell everybody bye-bye. That's it for our video. Bye-bye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to uh, join and push like on my uh, videos. Thank <laughs> you for watching, guys.